Hello everyone, let's learn Malay by just watching. Today we are going to chapter 37. I'm going to explain about singular and plural. Chapter 37 or Bab 37 Nouns, singular and plural. In previous lesson, you have been told that if the plural is to be indicated, a numeral, a qualifier, or a numeral with a classifier is to be attached to the noun. If the exact quantity is not stated, the noun is reduplicated. However, not all words which are reduplicated in form are plural. Such words as kanak-kanak, children, cita-cita, ambition, kupu-kupu, moth, gula-gula, candy, anai-anai, white ants are not plural. Here are some examples. Agar-agar, a jelly. Angan-angan, daydream. Anting-anting, an earring. Labi-labi, a river turtle. Kura-kura, a tortoise. Pundi-pundi, a purse. Ondeh-ondeh, a kind of cake. Like here, sweet terror, ondeh-ondeh. Bari-bari, a fruit fly. Riang-riang, a cicada. Biri-biri, a sheep. Buli-buli, a small bottle. Kelip-kelip, or kunang-kunang, or api-api, firefly, like here. Layang-layang, kite. Oleh-oleh, souvenir. Examples in sentences. Arnab nampak kura-kura sedang merangkak dekat teping sungai. A rabbit saw a tortoise crawling near the river bank. Tebing means bank, sungai, river. Apabila kami masuk ke dalam hutan itu, kami mendengar riang-riang hutan berbunyi di sana-sini. When we enter the jungle, we heard cicadas chirping here and there. Orang-orang di pantai timur suka bermain layang-layang. The people in the east coast like to play kites. Kuih onde-onde dibuat daripada tepung pulut. Bentuknya bulat, di dalamnya ada gula dan di luarnya ditabur dengan kelapa parut. Onde-onde is made from glutinous flour, is round in shape with sugar inside and coated with grated coconut outside. A word to indicate plurality. They put this word para. It represents the group as a whole. Example, para pelajar, a group of students. Para seniman, a group of artists. Para guru, a group of teachers. Para pendengar, a group of listeners. Para penonton, a group of spectators. Penonton also means audience. Para perwakilan, a group of representative. Para peserta, a group of participant. Para dermawan, a group of philanthropists. Para hakim, a group of judges. Para hadirin, a group of audience. Para sastrawan, a group of riders. Para pelancong, a group of tourists. Note, it will be wrong to say dua orang para guru. Two teachers. You should either say dua orang guru, two teachers, or para guru, the teachers as a whole. It is also not usual to use the word para with people who deserve no respect, such as robbers, penyamun, thieves, pencuri, and traders, pengkhianat. 
Para pelajar patutlah sedar bahawa kewajipan mereka bukan sahaja menuntut ilmu tetapi juga berkhidmat kepada negara. Students should realize that their responsibility is not only to seek knowledge but also to serve the country. Para perwakilan ke persidangan itu semuanya telah sampai. All the delegates to the conference have arrived. Apabila keputusan diumumkan, para hadirin sekalian bertepuk tangan. When the result was announced, all those present clapped their hands. Para peserta dikehendaki membawa baju mandi masing-masing. Participants are required to bring their own swimsuits. Jawatan kuasa Pestaria mengucapkan terima kasih kepada para dermawan atas sumbangan mereka. The Funfair Committee thank all the donors for their contribution. Words to remember. Ikhtiar, way and means, also means initiative. Tanggungjawab, responsibility. Pendidikan, education. Waktu malam, night time. Kesatuan sekerja, trade union. Waktu siang, daytime. Bagus, good. Sekeluarga, of the same family. Dengan sebulat suara, anonymously. Terhadap, towards. Exercise, number one. Butterflies come out in the day, fireflies at night. Kupu-kupu keluar pada waktu siang. Kelip-kelip pada waktu malam. 2. Tortoises and river turtles are of the same family. Kura-kura dan labi-labi adalah sekeluarga. 3. Since he was a child, his ambition is to become a doctor. Semenjak dia kanak-kanak, cita-citanya ialah hendak menjadi doktor. 4. Children like to eat french fries. Kanak-kanak suka makan kentang goreng. 5. The judges as a group gave a decision anonymously. Para hakim memberi keputusan dengan sebulat suara. 6. This journal is good for university students. Jurnal ini bagus untuk para mahasiswa. 7. Teachers as a whole have heavy responsibilities towards children's education. Para guru mempunyai tanggungjawab berat terhadap pendidikan kanak-kanak. 8. Workers as a whole are advised to join a trade union. Para pekerja dinasihatkan memasuki kesatuan sekerja. 9. The NUTP is an association for teachers. Here, KPPK, National Union of Teaching Profession, Peninsula, Malaysia. KPPK ialah sebuah persatuan untuk para guru. 10. We should find ways and means to draw tourists to our country. Here, another. Here is KPKK, KPPK, Kesatuan Perkhidmatan Perguruan Kebangsaan Malaysia, KPPK. Union Service Teachers National. Pelindung dan Pembela Guru. Protector and defender of teachers Dulu, before, kini, now, and, dan, selamanya, forever 10. We should find ways and means to draw tourists to our country Kita hendaklah mencari ikhtiar Untuk menarik para pelancong ke negara kita
Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.